In this video, I'm going to explain what is Ampere current, their definition and how do they work. First, we need to know that the electricity is the flow of negative charge aka electrons and in this image shows the movement of electrons through the wire's atoms. So that means that the current is the flow aka movement of the electrical carriers like electrons. Current flows from negative to positive points. In this image shows the movement of the electrons from the negative point of the battery to the positive point of the battery. Current is determined by the number of electrons passing through a cross section of a conductor in one second. Current is also measured in ampere which is abbreviated amps. In this image shows the amount of electrons passing through the width of the wire in one second. The conventional current and the electron flow. There is often a lot of misunderstanding about conventional current flow and the electron flow. This can be a little confusing at first but it is really quite straightforward. This came about because the initial investigations in static and dynamic electric currents was based upon what we now call positive charge carriers. This meant that then early convention for the direction of an electric current was established as the direction that positive charges would move. This convention has remained and it's still used today. Conventional current flow, the conventional current flow is from positive to the negative terminal and indicates the direction that positive charges would move. The electron flow from negative to positive terminal, electrons are negatively charged and therefore attracted to the positive terminal. In this uh, image shows the movement of the conventional current flow and the electron flow. That's about it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.